All right, we're here changing the E46 S54 spark plugs. These are the ones you want to get, the NGK DCP R8 EKP. And these are going to be the stock plugs and they're going to run real nice in your engine. If you uh, choose to use other plugs, you might have lots of other issues. You're going to throw codes, so we really recommend just using the stock plugs. Okay, we're going to change these plugs out. Uh, we've had these covered up because we've been working on this engine. Uh, we're going to pull our paper out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to blow it out. Make sure there's no dirt on back inside here. Okay, it's blown out. You're, these are real deep wells, so you want to get a nice, long uh, spark plug wrench. You know, one that has the rubber inside to hold the plug snugly so you don't drop it down and have to go fishing. Uh, the reason I like the long socket is because if the socket sticks to the plug and it disconnects, you can still get in there and pull it out instead of having to go in fishing too deep. So anyway, we're going to pull this guy out or I broke it loose. And since we got it broke loose, we know the crush washer is now off the head. We're going to blow it out one more time so nothing, nothing in the trash that may be in there falls into the engine box. going fishing. There it is. Take a read on your plugs. That's burning nice and brown. No oily spots. No real hot spots on the white ash. Looks like a good plug. We're going to change it though. And one thing we do is we put never sees on these plugs. Steel body, aluminum head, different metals. Put a little never sees on this and you'll never have Never have a plug gall up on you. Don't need a whole lot, just a touch. Just a touch. And we're going to wipe off the excess. Just keep it off the electrode, you don't need it down there. But this just gives you a nice, even coat. Install that in your socket. Nice crush washer, it's on there. And we'll inspect the hole. I can see the hole is nice and clean, no trash in there. No oil. And these should go down nice and easy. You don't want to strip this block out. Just hand tight till you know you're good. And we're good. And that's why I like the, the longer spark plug socket. I can always get it out of there real easy. Now we'll come back and we'll torque all these down. Plug. Take it out nice and easy. Remember, this is aluminum to steel, and you don't want to strip it out. There it is. I'm done. You can get in here and start placing these wires in the right place. That block goes into that holder right there. It goes into that clip. That clip there. There's a clip right here. It goes down. Clip here. And this guy right here. And then we bring over the ignition wire. On the ignition wire, there is a grounding cable right here. And it goes just to the right side of the oil banjo. You really can't see it. Uh, it's something you gotta, gotta kinda look for. So it's right, right here. You want to keep these little rubber tabs on the outside so it seals up. There's another one back over here. Right there. And it fits right down on the groove. Just got to get it up and over. That's how it should look. 
Now we're going to come along. We're going to install our uh, spark uh, spark plug wires. And there's a push pin right here, push pin there, a small bolt, and a small bolt right there. Okay, torque down the spark plugs to 16 foot pounds. Done. Okay, once you have the spark plugs all torqued down into the head, you can do the rest. Okay, we're going to put some dielectric grease right here. Just a little bit on the connector and also on the boot. Not a whole lot. You might take it and kind of smear it around a little bit. This will help it uh, slide on easier and then make a better co uh, electrical connection. There's a little key right here and it fits in these two points here. And we're going to go ahead and install this now. Get it down there, get the key lined up. You want to press this thing in nice and tight. You'll feel it snap in. There it is. You, you can feel it actually pop on there. And we open this hatch up here. Slide that on. Lock it down. All six are locked down, torqued, and ready to go. Then we can bring our wire, wire loom brakes back up here. There's a nut that goes there. Nothing goes back here, and there are two pop-on clips right there and right there. And don't forget, down below, there is also that ground wire you have to attach to the, uh, to the valve cover. And now we're ready to put the actual plastic cover on top of this engine and nut it down.